Spain, also known as the Kingdom of Spain, lies in southwestern Europe on the Iberian Peninsula. Its territory extends to the Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean, the Canary Islands in the Atlantic Ocean, and two autonomous cities in North Africa, Ceuta and Melilla. Ranking as the fourth largest country in Europe, after Russia, Ukraine, and France, Spain covers about 505,990 square kilometers. Its climate ranges from the temperate in the north to the dry and hot in the south, and it is home to more than 47 million people. Spain operates as a parliamentary constitutional monarchy. King Felipe VI is the current monarch, and the country is led by a prime minister. The Spanish economy is varied, focusing on tourism, manufacturing, and agriculture, and is renowned for its olive oil, wine, and citrus fruits. Spain has also made notable contributions to art and architecture, being the homeland of famous artists such as Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, and Antoni Gaudí. Football is a significant part of Spanish culture, with widespread support for both local and national teams. Spain hosts some of the most famous football clubs in the world, including FC Barcelona and Real Madrid. The culture of tapas in Spain is more than just about food. It's a way of life that reflects the Spanish joy for living. Going out for tapas involves visiting various bars with friends, sharing dishes, and enjoying drinks together. The term tapa means cover or lid in Spanish, and the tradition may have started as a way for sherry drinkers to protect their drinks from fruit flies with slices of bread or meat. This practice has evolved into a sophisticated culinary tradition, with each bar presenting its unique version of these dishes. Flamenco shows are another highlight of Spanish culture. Originating from the Andalusian region, flamenco is a dynamic expression of song, dance, and guitar playing. This art form originating from the Andalusian region has gained fame and admiration across Spain and beyond. Flamenco performances can be experienced throughout the country, showcasing the deep passion and intricate skills of the artists in a variety of settings from formal theaters to the informal ambiance of local bars and public squares. Ready to explore Spain? Pack your bags and let's uncover the best of Spain. Barcelona, the lively heart of Catalonia in Spain, sits along the northeastern Mediterranean coast. Its history, dating back over 2,000 years, features a mix of cultural influences evident in its remarkable architecture. It's the second largest city in Spain, with a population of more than 1.6 million people, and draws more than 30 million visitors each year. One of the city's liveliest spots is La Rambla, a tree-lined walkway that connects Plaza de Catalunya to the Christopher Columbus Monument at Port Vell. This area is alive with shops, cafes, and street performers, making it a hub of daily life and culture. Here, you'll also find the famous La Boqueria Market. La Boqueria, or Mercat de Sant Josep de la Boqueria, located in the Ciutat Vela district, has a history dating back to 1217. With over 200 stalls, it provides a vast array of fresh products, ranging from fruits and vegetables to seafood and meats. The market is also a key destination for sampling traditional Catalan food. 
Originally a mobile market, La Boqueria found its permanent spot in 1826. The Gothic Quarter is the historic center of Barcelona. Its narrow, winding alleys are lined with some of the city's most ancient buildings, reflecting its Roman and medieval past. Today, it's a lively area filled with shops, bars, and restaurants. Antoni Gaudí, a pioneering architect from Catalonia, left an indelible mark on Barcelona with his distinctive modernist buildings. Casa Mila, also known as La Pedrera, is one of his notable works, completed in 1912. Finished in 1912, this building is recognized worldwide as a modernist architectural gem, notable for its unique stone exterior and decorative iron balconies. It was built for Pere Mila and his wife, Rosa Segimon, who occupied the main apartment and leased out the rest. Now, it serves as a cultural center that hosts various exhibitions and events. Park Güell is another hallmark of Barcelona, crafted by the visionary Antoni Gaudí. This park, developed from 1900 to 1914, was initially planned as a residential area. When the housing project didn't take off, it was transformed into a public park. The park is a celebration of color and shapes, boasting mosaic-adorned structures, curvy benches, and pathways that provide stunning city views. The Sagrada Familia is Barcelona's most iconic symbol, showcasing Gaudí's extraordinary creativity and determination. This huge church, still under construction since 1882, blends modernist architecture with elements of Gothic and Art Nouveau. Although incomplete, it draws millions of visitors every year. A visit to Casa Botlo, yet another creation by Antoni Gaudí, is a must for architecture enthusiasts. Constructed in 1877 and redesigned by Gaudí between 1904 and 1906, this building is an explosion of color and shape. Its facade, decorated with a mosaic of broken ceramic tiles, exemplifies Gaudí's inventive material use and unique architectural style. Nicknamed the House of Bones, Casa Botlo is renowned for its balcony railings and pillars that resemble bones. Antoni Gaudí revolutionized architectural design, leaving a legacy that continues to amaze and inspire people globally. Barcelona is also known for its 4.5 kilometers of beautiful sandy beaches, with Barceloneta Beach being the most well-known. Since the 1992 Olympics, this waterfront area has seen major changes, turning from an overlooked industrial zone into a lively district filled with modern buildings, seafood eateries, and fashionable bars. Port Vell, once a dilapidated part of the city, has been transformed into a bustling tourist destination, featuring a large marina, an IMAX cinema, and Europe's biggest aquarium. To the southwest of the city center lies Mont Huic, a wide, gently sloping hill. Historically important for defense, it now hosts several attractions, including Montjuic Castle, the Magic Fountain, and the Olympic Stadium. The Montjuic Castle, dating back to 1640, was a key fortress in the city's history. The Magic Fountain is renowned for its stunning combination of water, light, and music, creating captivating displays with jets reaching as high as 52 meters. The Teleferico del Puerto, or Port Cable Car, is a favored attraction in Barcelona. Linking the city's port to Montjuic Hill, this cable car journey spans 1,292 meters and takes about 10 minutes. Originally built for transporting materials for Montjuic Castle's construction, it now offers an exciting perspective of the city. Near Barcelona, the multi-peaked Montserrat mountain range is a place of natural splendor. The name Montserrat means saw mountain in Catalan, aptly describing its rugged peaks, 
that soar up to 1,236 meters at the highest point. The mountain hosts the Benedictine Abbey, Santa Maria de Montserrat, which includes the Sanctuary of the Virgin of Montserrat. Some believe this site connects to the legend of the Holy Grail in Arthurian myth. The range, shaped by wind and rain over millions of years, is composed of naturally cemented sand, creating a landscape that is both striking and peaceful. Madrid, Spain's capital, sits in the center of the Iberian Peninsula. Its location at 667 meters above sea level makes it Europe's highest capital city. With a population exceeding 6.5 million, Madrid ranks as the third largest city in the European Union, trailing only London and Berlin. The city is also known for its rivers, particularly the Manzanares, which meanders through its heart. The Royal Palace of Madrid, or Palacio Real, is one of Madrid's most significant landmarks. This palace, with its 3,418 rooms, is the largest royal residence in Western Europe by floor area, spanning an impressive 135,000 square meters. Constructed in the 18th century by King Philip V on the site of a former 9th century fortress, the palace exemplifies Spanish royal grandeur, boasting interiors rich in art, frescoes, and elaborate tapestries. While the palace is no longer the King of Spain's official residence, it remains a venue for state ceremonies and formal dinners. Puerta del Sol, or Gate of the Sun, is one of the busiest and most famous squares in Madrid. This square is notable for landmarks like the Bear and the Strawberry Tree statue, Madrid's official emblem. It also marks the geographical center of Spain's road network, with a plaque indicating kilometer zero. Originally one of the city's gates in the 15th century, the square is now a focal point for New Year's Eve celebrations, drawing large crowds annually. Another iconic Madrid square is Plaza Mayor. Built in the 17th century during King Philip III's reign, who is commemorated with a statue in the square, Plaza Mayor has witnessed a range of historical events, from bullfights to royal festivities, and even public executions during the Spanish Inquisition. Enclosed by three-story residential buildings with 237 balconies overlooking the square and featuring nine entrances, Plaza Mayor today thrives as a center of cafes, restaurants, and shops. The Mercado de San Miguel, known as San Miguel Market, is a must-visit for food enthusiasts. Situated near Plaza Mayor, this covered market boasts a stunning iron structure, dating back to 1916. Inside, it's a gastronomic heaven, offering an array of Spanish delights from fresh produce to seafood, meats, and pastries. Originally a wholesale market, it transformed into a gourmet food destination in 2009. Retiro Park, spanning 1.4 square kilometers, was once the exclusive retreat of the Spanish monarchy. 
opened to the public in the late 19th century, it's now a beloved spot for locals and visitors alike. With over 15,000 trees, a vast artificial lake, and numerous monuments, including the renowned Crystal Palace, built in 1887, it's a haven for relaxation and recreation. Throughout the year, the park hosts cultural events like concerts, exhibitions, and book fairs. The Sibiel Palace, completed in 1919 by architects Antonio Palacios and Joaquin Otamendi, originally served as Spain's postal and telegraph headquarters. Today it houses the Madrid City Council, symbolizing the city's administrative hub. Its striking white facade adorned with intricate sculptures is a sight to behold, crowned by a glass dome offering panoramic city views. Adjacent to the Cybele Palace stands the statue of Cybele, honoring the Phrygian goddess of fertility. Part of the iconic Cybele fountain designed in the late 18th century, the statue depicts Cybele in a chariot pulled by lions, a classic representation. Situated in Plaza de Cibeles, one of Madrid's pivotal squares, both the statue and the fountain have become city symbols. Real Madrid fans often gather here to celebrate victories, adding to its significance in the city's culture. Madrid's financial district is a cornerstone of the city's and Spain's economy, with its diverse areas contributing significantly to the financial landscape. The prominent Paseo de la Castellana serves as the district's focal point. At the forefront is the Cuatro Torres business area, finalized in 2008, housing four skyscrapers, each with its distinct purpose and architecture. These towers, towering as Spain's tallest structures, include the Torre de Cristal, reaching an impressive 249 meters. Beyond office spaces, these towers boast hotels, dining venues, and observation decks. Adding to the skyline are the KIO Towers, also dubbed the Gate of Europe Towers, renowned for their inclined design, a notable feature in Madrid's financial district. Erected in 1996, these twin towers, reaching 114 meters in height, hold offices, a shopping complex, and a convention center. Designed by American architects Philip Johnson and John Burgey, they were the world's first inclined skyscrapers. And last but not least, within this bustling district is the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, the revered home of Real Madrid Football Club. Inaugurated in 1947 and subject to numerous renovations, it is one of the world's premier football venues. With seating for over 81,000 spectators, it ranks as Spain's second largest stadium and a leading venue in Europe. As night falls, Madrid's vibrant nightlife comes to life, offering an array of entertainment options. From the lively bars and clubs of Malasaña to the captivating flamenco performances at Tablao Flamenco, reflecting the locals' vivacity and passion for music, dance, and socializing, Madrid's nightlife caters to all preferences, whether it be live music venues, lively dance floors, or cozy wine bars, ensuring an unforgettable experience for all.
Seville, the capital of Andalusia, is located in the southern part of Spain and is known for its unique blend of Moorish and Christian influences, which is evident in its architecture, food, and traditions. The city is found on the banks of the Guadalquivir River, which has been a significant trade route since Roman times. The Giralda Tower, a former minaret turned bell tower, was originally built in the 12th century as part of the Great Mosque during the Almohad Dynasty, making it one of the oldest architectural structures in the city. After the Reconquista, the Christians added the bell tower to the top of the minaret, creating a unique blend of Moorish and Renaissance architectural styles. Seville Cathedral, officially known as the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Sea, is the largest Gothic cathedral and the third largest church in the world. The cathedral was built in the 15th century on the site of a former mosque, following the Reconquista, when the Christians retook Seville from the Moors. The cathedral is home to an impressive collection of art, including works by Murillo and Zurbaran. It also houses the tomb of Christopher Columbus. The Plaza de España is an example of regionalism architecture, mixing elements of the Renaissance revival and Moorish revival styles of Spanish architecture. The plaza's most notable features are its semicircular brick buildings, its 500-meter canal crossed by four bridges, and its 48 alcoves, each representing a different province of Spain. The Metropole Parasol, also known as Las Setas de la Encarnación, completed in 2011, is one of the largest wooden structures in the world. The structure, which resembles giant mushrooms, houses a market, restaurants, and an archaeological museum. Triana, a neighborhood located on the west bank of the Guadalquivir River, is known for its deep-rooted flamenco culture, traditional ceramics, and lively tapas scene. One of the most iconic landmarks in Triana is the Triana Bridge, it was constructed in the mid-19th century, making it the oldest iron bridge in Spain. The Triana Bridge was initially built to replace a pontoon bridge that had been in use since the 12th century. The pontoon bridge was prone to damage from the river's strong currents, and the construction of a permanent iron bridge was seen as a symbol of progress and modernity. Today, the bridge is not just a vital transportation link, but also a gathering place for locals, a stage for street performers, and a vantage point for watching the city's famous Holy Week processions. Valencia, Spain's third biggest city, sits on the country's east coast. It's famous for its lovely beaches, parks, and a warm climate that's among the best in Europe. Valencia is also where paella, a well-known Spanish dish, comes from. Thanks to its fertile soil and location near the Mediterranean Sea, the city is a key spot for food lovers with a long history of delicious dishes. The city's coastline, extending over 15 kilometers, attracts many with its top-notch beaches like Las Arenas and La Malvarosa. 
These beaches are famous for their soft, sandy expanses and serene blue waters, offering a perfect retreat for relaxation, sunbathing, and immersing in the Mediterranean vibe. Beyond summer, these spots are also favored for strolls, biking, and a variety of water sports in the cooler seasons. Turia Gardens Park, one of Spain's largest urban parks, was developed in the former riverbed of the Turia River after a devastating flood in 1957. This park, stretching nine kilometers, is filled with sports facilities, play areas, and cultural venues. It's also home to notable architectural works, including the Palau de la Musica and the City of Arts and Sciences. Santiago Calatrava, a celebrated Spanish architect, designed the City of Arts and Sciences, a futuristic complex which was completed in 2005. Located in the former riverbed of the Turia River, it spans roughly two kilometers and consists of six main features. The Hemispheric, for IMAX and digital screenings, the Umbrical, a landscaped lookout, the Principe Felipe Science Museum, the Oceanographic, the largest aquarium in Europe, the Palau de las Arts Reina Sofia, an opera house, and the Agora, a flexible event space. The Oceanographic, found within the City of the Arts and Sciences, is Europe's largest aquarium. It spans 110,000 square meters and is home to over 45,000 creatures from 500 different species. Its standout attraction is the underwater restaurant, offering diners a one-of-a-kind experience with sweeping views of marine life. Over in the western part of Valencia, the Biopark offers a fresh take on the zoo experience. This isn't your typical zoo. It's designed to immerse visitors in the animal's natural environments through zoo immersion techniques. Spanning 100,000 square meters, it houses more than 4,000 animals from 250 species. The park is cleverly divided into areas that mimic different African ecosystems, aiming to instill a respect for wildlife and an understanding of the importance of conservation. The Valencia Cathedral, or St. Mary's Cathedral, is a historical site that houses several vital religious relics, notably the Holy Grail, believed to be the authentic cup Jesus used during the Last Supper. Additionally, the cathedral's Miguelete Tower provides panoramic views over Valencia, offering a distinct vantage point to appreciate the city's architectural beauty. The Central Market in Valencia is a lively hub of culture and gastronomy. Opened in 1928, this Art Nouveau gem is not only one of Europe's oldest markets still in operation, but also among the largest covered markets on the continent, spreading across 8,160 square meters. It hosts around 400 small vendors offering a wide array of items from fresh fruits and vegetables to specialty foods. The Serranos Towers, or Torres de Serranos, date back to the 14th century, designed by the noted architect Pere Balaguer. Originally part of the city's fortifications, these towers symbolized Valencia's might and prosperity. Over the years, they've had various roles, including serving as a noble prison in the 16th and 17th centuries. Now, as one of Valencia's most iconic sites, they offer beautiful views over the city from their summit. A visit to Valencia isn't complete without trying a traditional paella, the city's iconic dish. This combination of rice, meat, seafood, and vegetables is a culinary symbol of Valencia and Spain. Originating in the 19th century in the Albufera region as a dish for farmers, it was made with whatever local ingredients were available. Today, paella is known worldwide, but experiencing the authentic Valencian version, especially when cooked over a wood fire in a traditional pan, offers a deep dive into the area's rich culinary traditions.
Ibiza, set in the Mediterranean Sea, is celebrated for its crystal clear blue waters, beautiful beaches, and legendary nightlife. The island features a rugged coastline with hidden coves and wide beaches, and its interior is a patchwork of lush forests and traditional Spanish villages. Drawing millions of visitors yearly, Ibiza's position between the Iberian Peninsula and Africa has made it a cultural crossroads over the centuries. The island's beaches and coves are a major draw. With over 80 to choose from, Ibiza caters to all preferences. Busy spots like Playa del Basa and San Antonio Bay are perfect for those looking for lively atmospheres and water sports. Meanwhile, serene havens such as Cala de Hort and Cala Salada offer peace and natural beauty. Water sports are a thrilling way to experience Ibiza's beautiful waters and coastline. Whether it's jet skiing, parasailing, paddleboarding, or scuba diving, there's something for everyone. The surrounding waters are rich in marine life, making them excellent for snorkeling and diving adventures. A catamaran adventure is a must-do in Ibiza. These elegant dual-hulled boats glide along the island's coast, unveiling hidden coves and inviting swimmers into the sparkling waters. This journey not only allows for swimming and snorkeling in secluded spots, but also offers a chance to encounter marine life, including dolphins and sea turtles. Additionally, it provides a distinctive view of Ibiza's dramatic cliffs, untouched beaches, and the iconic Es Vedra, enriching the experience with historical and natural insights. Esvedra is a small, uninhabited, rocky island off Ibiza's southwestern coast, shrouded in mystery and legend. Rising sharply from the blue Mediterranean to a height of 413 meters, it's not just a breathtaking natural landmark, but also a focal point of intriguing local folklore, including tales of sirens and sea nymphs. Often described as one of the most magnetic places on Earth, Following the North Pole and the Bermuda Triangle, it's rumored to affect navigational instruments, although there's no scientific proof of this. As part of the Kala Tort Nature Reserve, S. Vedra attracts visitors with its breathtaking views and diverse marine life, making it a popular destination for boat tours. A short ferry ride from Ibiza, Formentera is the smallest of the Balearic Islands, offering a peaceful retreat with some of the world's most beautiful beaches. Its most celebrated beach, Playa de Ses Iletes, boasts white sands and clear turquoise waters, reminiscent of the Caribbean. The island's laid-back charm provides a tranquil escape from the busier pace of life, inviting visitors to slow down and enjoy its peaceful surroundings. Ibiza's nightlife is unparalleled, with the island hosting some of the largest and most famous clubs in the world. These clubs have become legendary, evolving from modest dance venues in the 70s and 80s into sprawling entertainment complexes that today offer an all-encompassing party experience. With top DJs spinning tracks and a vibe that encapsulates the essence of celebration, Ibiza's nightclubs are monuments to the ultimate party experience, crafting memories that last a lifetime. And that's all for today's adventure. 
If you enjoyed diving into the culture, architecture, and history of Spain with us, make sure to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible content. We really want to know what you think, so please leave a comment below about your favorite part or where you'd like us to go next. See you in the next video.